G'day guys, welcome to my Max Wise Future video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL's Round 21's predictions for 2024, guys. Let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Warriors going up against the West Tigers. Now this game will be one hell of an excellent game. Um... Unfortunately, like though, like there's no Marcel and Montoya, so Edward Cozzi at number five uh, position for the team. You still got uh, Dallin Martini Zelezniak in that uh, two spot with uh, Roger Tuafasic in that fullback uh, side for the team, which uh, does mean that Ali Lalatola, something I don't know how you pronounce it right, but yeah, he's in that uh, three. Um, but then again, uh, you still got no Sean Johnson, which that is a big blow for the Warriors and um, for the West Tigers. <clears throat> you guys had it in the bag last week um, in, in Gosford, um, but then, like, when you guys were on, you guys were on. And I could just imagine that that side like this team would have gone like a really good um side and i just think that um in this game like they played that absolute um, ordinary match and like the west tigers i'm really good of a footy team sitting down in the wooden spoon spot um which that means that i would have thought myself that I just don't think that this game they will win and since it's the Warriors home game I'm going to go with them so in this match I'm going to go with the Warriors by 1 to 12 by 10 points in this game to defeat the West Tigers in this match the next game of this match we see the Eels going up against the Melbourne Storm now this game um I just think that I give up. Like, they're just losing players, injuring players, like injuring players, like to the point where they're just not going to win. Like, this team has basically fallen apart. And since that, the Eels have bumped up to six bucks. Because Mitchell Moses is in, in that side. And he is basically out for the season. So we're technically screwed. But I won't be surprised if we do win in this game. Because we do have a good record against the Melbourne Storm. But I don't think we have a chance. At all. If we do, maybe like 50% chance, 60% chance... But the rest of them, 100% chance that Melbourne Storm will get a win. But it won't be 13 plus. I guarantee you that. Because it's just like that. We come out firing. But the Melbourne Storm are just too good. I'll be surprised if Cameron Munster gets a late conclusion in that, that side. Replacing Tyrone Wishart in that six spot and if he does play then it's 13 plus i guarantee you that we are screwed so in this match i just don't think we will win i guarantee you that if we do then i'm surprised so in this game i'm going to go with one to twelve i just don't think it's 13 plus so this game, I'm going to go with the Melbourne Storm by 1-12, to 12, by 12 points in this game to defeat the Parramatta Eels in this game. The next game of this match, we see the Broncos going up against the Bulldogs. Now in this game, um, the Broncos have been quite um, shocking lately. Like They haven't been winning games. Last week they have, like, basically finally. But going up against like the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs are a really good side. Um, 
They're just too strong, outgoing, and they're just really good defensing team that can really bounce on their mark. <coughs> but you still got um, the Bulldogs <sighs> going in the top four. I could see that happening. Um, I could see them going into the finals. Because this team was going from down below, crawling up slowly, and then that's how they were improving really well. And I give credit to the Bulldogs because this team, I just thought they were going to struggle, like, really, like, in that season. But, yeah, no, nah, they were really improving, so I give credit to this team. Um, yeah, you guys are really good. Um, yeah, you've been absolutely, uh, stunning. Um, but yeah, I just think that the Bulldogs will be too strong. The Broncos, um, will be, um, I just think Broncos won't win. And the Bulldogs will be, uh, too strong in this game. So in this match, I am going to go... With uh, the Bulldogs by 1 to 12, by 8 points in this game to defeat the Broncos in this match. The next game of this match, we see the Cowboys going up against the Sharks. Now, in this game, um, I do see um, the Cowboys playing really well in this match. Sharks have got uh, back now uh, Sione Katoa. Since he didn't play last week, um, I believe it would have been a hamstring injury. Uh, so, yeah, I just think that since he will be in that side, um, I reckon he will score um, with Kyle Felt in there. I reckon that's definitely yes, he will definitely score. So, with the Cowboys in there, it's going to be 1-12. to It's not going to be 13+. plus. If it will be, I could see um, the Cowboys getting 13 plus. I don't see the Sharks getting 13 plus. But in this match, um, you still got like full strength team uh, for the Cowboys and so the Sharks. But the players to watch out for um, is Ronaldo Molotalo. And Sione Katoa. But with um, Cowboys, Cole Felt, uh, Valentine Holmes, and Chad Townsend. Basically, Tom Dearden also, too, and Scott Drinkwater. So it's just going to be a 1 to 12 game. I don't see a 13 plus. It's just going to be an ordinary match that won't be as high scoring. So in this match, I think that the Cowboys will win. And the Sharks won't be as strong um, to attack and defend. So in this game, I'm going to go with the Cowboys by 1-12. to 12, By 6 points in this game to defeat the Sharks in this match. The next game of this match, we see the Roosters going up against the Manly Seagulls. Now this game will be another great game. The Manly Seagulls have been absolutely really good in their home stadium. Basically defeating um, the Gold Coast Titans. But going up against the Roosters, the Roosters are a really good team. That can really be off the mark. Um, they've been absolutely really great. Um, but one thing that I um, find it hard was the Roosters did struggle last week against the Melbourne Storm. Uh, 20, I think it was 24 or 26 points to 8. With the only try that scored was Dominic Young in that game. So, in this match, basically, um, uh, the Manly Eagles do have um, Tom Javojevic in that side, in that fullback position, <coughs> um, replacing Teletel Kula, which I don't believe he is playing or not. Uh, I reckon he's still injured, or if not, then. Um, 
I'm not exactly too sure. But with this game um, being a great uh, game, Dominic Young going up against uh, Ruben Garrick, it's going to be one hell of a fight. One hell of a show. And Dominic Young is basically the man to watch. Excuse me. And I just think that Dominic Young is a really good speedster. And when he gets the ball, he's basically on. And no one can touch him. He is quick off the mark. And that's how he can score tries. But in this game, I am going to go with my heart, brave and soul. With the Roosters, 13 plus, 24 points. The Manly Seagulls will struggle in this game with the Roosters always, always play their heart out in this epic clash of this um, home game. And they always do. So in this game, I'm going to go with the Roosters by one, uh, by 13 plus, by 24 points in this game to defeat the Manly Seagulls in this match. The next game of this match, we see the Dragons going up against the Panthers now in this match. The Panthers have been absolutely really great um, in this game. Like, basically, uh, last week they played not as good. Um, the Dolphins were outsmarting um, the Panthers, but not as good enough as when Nathan Cleary kicked that field goal, uh, two-point field goal, which really stunned me. Um, but... Going up against the Dragons, uh, the Panthers can be absolutely really great on their form. And with Nathan Cleary in there, it's just going to be a full-strength team. And basically with Brian To'o playing in that number five spot, uh, with Paul Alamotti either dropped or in that four spot uh, for the team, I just think that it's going to be a 13-plus game. The Dragons, when they play certain teams like Panthers, Storm, Roosters, they can struggle. But when they play against like the Eels or Dolphins, they can play great. I just don't see the Dragons playing well against the Panthers. Panthers can come out firing. Panthers can come out really great. And I reckon that like with Ben Hunt in there going up against Nathan Cleary, it's just going to be one hell of a fight. And... I just don't see the Dragons really aiming up in their defense and their attack against the Panthers with basically Nathan Cleary uh, being as strong as he is. So in this game, I am going to go with the Panthers by 13 plus by 24 points in this game to defeat the Dragons in this match. The next game of this match, we see the Dolphins going up against the uh, Gold Coast Titans, Queensland Derby. I just think that um, this game with the Hammer in that fullback um, position for the team, he will play great. The Dolphins will play good. It's going to be one hell of a fight. But the Gold Coast Titans last week was shocking. And I just think that they'll play with outstanding uh, toughness. That will determine them um, to watch out for the Dolphins. So, in this game, the Dolphins have been um, really great um, on their form, on their heart. Last week against the Panthers, they were playing absolutely very solid, but not good enough to conceal that win. So, it's going to be real tough and hard to see that um, the Gold Coast Titans in there. It's just going to be really tough. But with Kino Keeney, speedster, he is absolutely a really good player. So is Alifiana Camperera. He is the man to watch because he's been absolutely scoring monstrous of tries um, every single game. But not not every single game, basically. But last week, he was being like scoring, um, I think it was one or two tries uh, against Manly last week. So it's just going to be real tough and hard. Uh, to see the Dolphins beating Alofian Camperera and Jojo Fafita. But 
I think the Gold Coast Titans can be one hell of a, a team that can be really brutal when they're on their form. So, in this match, I am going to go with the Dolphins by 1 to 12, by 10 points, to defeat the Gold Coast Titans in this match. And finally, the next game of this match, we see the Raiders going up against the Rabbitohs. Now, I just think that this game will be uh, the game of the round, and I could see that the Raiders will be tough. So will the Rabbitohs. But with Jack Whiten playing against his former club, it's going to be one hell of a brutal match. I could see that... The Raiders will outsmart the Rabbitohs. Every single time that the Raiders play, they can be a really uh, good um, team. But I could see that the Rabbitohs will be uh, firing up in this game. But it's going to be one hell of a game. I reckon it'll be tries after tries after tries and it'll be high scoring game. I could see that happening. I reckon the Raiders will come out firing in the first half. Then the Rabbitohs will come out in the second half. But in the first half, they will play um, absolutely terrible. And I just think the second half, they will come out firing and play um, really good footy. I could say that Alex Johnston and Jacob Gagai will be the man, uh, the, two of those players will be the man, like, basically the man to watch, so, um, the players to watch, basically, and I could say that Jai Gray is a really good player, I could see him scoring a try or two, um, but I reckon, uh, I re could see... Jacob Gagai and Alex Johnson will sco score two tries um, each. Well, basically one try each. I don't know why I say two, but one try each in this game. So in this match, I am going to go with the Rabbitohs by 1-12, to 12, by 12 points in this game to defeat uh, the Raiders in this game. And anyway, guys, that's all from me. Make sure you do like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a good one.